Hey everybody, it's Veruta bringing you my third commentary. This time I'm playing Garen the Might of Demacia. Uh, I have a hard time pronouncing a lot of names in League of Legends, but I can't fuck that one up too bad, can I? Garen? Demacia? Maybe I did, let me know. Anyways, I do like this champion. I think he's very, very strong. I play him tanky, and I know that doesn't really fit some e-famous individuals' aggressive play styles, but, uh, you know, personally that works for me. I like taking the solo lane, especially if I've talked about it with another individual. Uh, when we're picking champions, I like the solo lane on Garen. Rushing 6 against 2 players makes it very easy to harass with your Q and your E, and then backing off when you need to heal up. You don't really get pressured too much. You can use this passive to just regen your health and get that early 6, walk on them, get the execute, and get the early kills without losing any opportunity. Um, here, Heimer got a little too aggressive. I was going to harass a little bit more, but I backed off. Didn't have my 6 yet, really close. As soon as I have 6, I'm going to go for him next time he gets aggressive. So, there's the 6. Um, this skin is a really cool skin, by the way, that I picked up from LeadCraft.com. Uh, go check it out, guys. I had a lot of complaints about my skins being too dark in my videos. Oh, here it is. There's the silence. There's the spin. Stay on top of Heimer. Avoid the aggro from the turrets. Ghost. Slam dunk. There it is. So, free lane, free experience and I can go ahead and talk about my build a little bit. With Garen, I like to pick up the Doran Shield, and I do spec 0.21.9, getting the extra passive uh, regeneration to health and a little bit of extra duration on the neutral buffs in the utility tree. That actually helps out a lot on red if you go pick it up after you pick up your Sunfires. It actually lets you slow and catch those casters a little bit easier. Now, Garen's biggest strength is that in team fights he can silence the, the squishy, he can silence the caster, whether it be like Ezreal or Heimer or even Cassidy, someone that generally gets away and gets out of those situations where they're being focused. You can spin up to them, they can't slow you, drop the silence, and then execute whenever that individual gets low enough. Garen's a great tank, he doesn't take a whole lot of damage, his W allows you to just sit there and tank 30% more um, than you should be, and it also gives you passive magic and armor resistance. On the build, so I pick up the Doran Shield, get the regen. Boots, I like Boots of Swiftness. I know that that's going to be um, not the most popular choice with a lot of players, but I really feel after the Mercury Treads nerf that they're just not that great anymore. They used to be a little bit better, but now Garen's Chasing Power is more... Uh, I want to say it's dependent on your summoner spells. If you take Cleansing Ghost, that's just as good as taking... Um, Mercury Treads, if not better. You're going to be able to catch those people, and you're going to be able to just slam them down. Your Q and your Boots of Swiftness are just a massive help on uh, making sure that you get to your targets. And if you can pick up Red, it's just a joke. It's no problem whatsoever. Alright, so after the Boots and my Doran Shield, I go ahead and start picking up my Long Swords for my Brutalizer. That plus 25 attack damage, ability cooldown reduction by 10%, and plus 15 armor penetration is almost the perfect item for Garen. Um, if there were one more perfect item, it's you moves. Uh, and Brutalizer luckily goes straight into it. So in my build, I go Doran Shield, Boots of Swiftness, and then I pick up my Brutalizer, my first Sunfire, and at that point I kind of evaluate how the game's going. Do I need you know, more catching power? Do I have a ton of money? Is there a lot of squishies around? Do I need to pick up another Sunfire? Some magic resistance? It's really flexible. But I really think the core build for Garen includes the Doran Shield, the Boots of Swiftness, the Brutalizer, and your first Sunfire Cape. Um, he's a flexible champion, and he gets that passive magic resistance, and if you're specced correctly, you're not going to be taking too much damage, especially if you're activating your W at the correct moments, but, you know, it's it's an adapting game, and if you're going to be playing um, against a set of casters, don't be dumb. Please pick up your magic resistance. So there we go on that clip. I blew my ult a little bit early on Heimer. Not a big deal. I was able to pick him up. Um, and here... I was actually getting a little aggressive on my tower. Q kills towers so fast. Please use that. There's so many bad Garens out there that are not using Q on the structures, whether it be the inhibitors, the towers, or even the heart. It does more damage. Use your Q. Hit harder on your next hit. Um, I can't stress it enough. Block creeps. Push your towers as quickly as you possibly can so you can go help your team. I got the tower down. Olaf and Singe came to get me. I was slowed. I spin out of it. Amazing ability. I blow my W, I blow my Q, go a little bit faster, dodge the axe, get the ulti, and then there we go. I can sit right in the middle of everybody and just do a little bit more damage. Morgana comes in there. I did have the ulti from Zillion, thank you very much. I come back to life, and I'm able to get away. No problem. At this point, I wasn't sure if I needed a base or not. 
Um, Morgana just helped me, so if she gets in trouble, I'm ready to run in there and get that silence and spin. My ulti's up in 15 seconds. I need to stick around. A lot of times, people base too early. Um, you know, they're looking at a third of health bar, and they're like, oh, I need to get out of here, I'm just going to die. Well, if you're playing Garen Tanky, there's no need whatsoever. Not only are you going to regen if you stay out of combat for 7 seconds, but you're very, very viable even at low health. Um, if you've got the shield to reduce the damage, the spin to get in there, or even the silence to move faster, you can get away if you need to, but a lot of times you're going to be very helpful. So here, Morgana was getting focused by Singe, she just helped me, let's help her. Gives me the spell shield, I stay on top of Singed, keep beating on him, blowing my damage reduction as much as possible. Boom, slam dunk, there we go. Zillion gives me a little bit of speed. I'm glad I stuck around, got another kill, and protected Morgana. That's the biggest thing. Ezreal almost gets me with the ult there. The ult there, excuse me. Very good job. So here, we have a tower dive of Garen. Blow the silence, damage reduction to take that tower, and then I spin right on top of him. Cleanse out of the pirate slow, since I don't have the spin anymore, and then we can push the tower um, uninterrupted. Garen is a great tower... Diver, I guess, initiator, I don't know what you want to call it, but he does a great job of getting in there, taking those hits, and being able to get out if necessary. Um, this would allow higher DPS champions to just drop the turrets, such as Master Yi or Twitch. So here we go. Um, team fight bottom. Running in there, just got my first Sunfire Brutalizer, got my core build, feeling really strong. Get another Silence on Singe, get out of the Pirate ult. Right now, I am not sure where I needed to go, so I came back around, got the Execute on Pirate, probably a kill steal, but that's right. This was a solo Q5v5 with Soapy. He understands. He's just really not as good as me, so that's okay. Um, here we go on Ezreal. I had the Silence. I thought we were going to get him down, but I do get kited pretty fucking hard here. I try to get to him. No luck. No dice. I back away. Olaf shows up just to take me out. What a shithead, right? Alright, so... Don't be too aggressive. You can chase, but someone like Ezreal that can kite you, be a little bit more careful than I was right there. That's okay, though. Um, here in this fight, it looked like Zillion, Morgana, we're going to take out... Um, what is his name? Singed. <laughs> we're going to take out Singed. They came around the corner and found Hymer and Pirate. That's a very, very dangerous thing to find. I blew my ghost to my Q. I try to get in there. I walk in to take some hits. Silence the Hymer. Spin on top of him. Sunfire and Spin do so much damage together. He didn't go down. He kind of juked me. Slam dunk. Probably a kill steal, but that's okay. If I wouldn't have been there, he wouldn't have died anyways. I run back over, trying to stop Ezreal, catching Morgana. She spell shields. She goes ahead and gets the stasis thing on him. I don't even know what the ability is called. Uh, the stun. Whatever. And here me split up. Me and Yi split up, trying to catch Ezreal. And Twitch, I don't know why he waited so long, but he goes ahead and opens on Ezreal. Spin right on top of Olaf. He drops like it's a joke. And then I just walk right out of Pirate Ult. That entire time, I've been at full health, just wrecking face. Get the silence on top of Pirate. Stay on top of him as best I can, using the spin and the sunfire. Go right past the turret. No problem whatsoever. Garen is a fucking monster. Do what you can to take tower hits for your team. Try to stay on top of your enemies. Do as much damage as possible while soaking up the abilities. That's Garen's job. Make sure you silence the squishy. Get in there, take the hits, and just help your team. Here we have... Ezreal getting a little aggressive. I'd like to take him out. He's probably their best player. I've noticed it in this game. He's already got the Bloodthirster and the Yumu's Blade. So he's a very strong player, but doesn't mean we can't take him out here. Morgana drops the pool. I come up, get the silence, get the spin. She gets the stun. He's done. Slam dunk. There's the kill. GG. Alright, so here we go. Another clip of me wanting to knock out that Ezreal, that strong caster in the opponent troop. Uh, try to get the spin. Looks like Olaf's going Sunfires. And we get a single bomb on top of him. I'm not sure whether I should go left or right. Twitch is waiting to open. There's the opening. I'm not going to get the silence. I'm slowed. Blow the ulti. Slam dunk. If you get it before they do a flash or they do a flash ability, it will land. It doesn't look like the range is ridiculous, but it is. Here we go. We were setting up baiting for a Baron trap, and I guess they knew. I find the casters. I get a hold of Ezreal. Boom. Silence. Boom. Slam dunk. Stay on top of Heimer. Those casters, if you leave them alone, do way too much damage. Stay on top of them. Garen can do that. Not a problem. So there's two two casters focused down, and we're able to pick up Baron buff. What's No problem whatsoever. Killing the turret, staying in their base, using the Q, taking hits. Not a big deal. All right, there's the inhibitor. Ezreal came up. We tried to bait him. Uh, they're going to come in. Should we go? Should we stay? And looks like surrender. 
oh well. Well, good game. Hopefully you enjoy this. Um, I should have another one up for Nidalee. Nidalee? Nidalee? Thank you very much. Subscribe. Take it easy.